everybody, it's Dina Rico with the Creativity Cave, and I have some awesome cards to show you today. I just love the Celebrate Today stamp set, which has all the balloons and is really great because it works for so many different occasions. There's birthday, graduation, just general celebrate, baby, wedding, everything you need is in here. And what I love about these cards is they are full of bling, and who doesn't like that? So I'm going to show you this card today, but then I will pull in the others to show you how I made them. So the first thing I'm going to do is take, and I've got my pieces pulled here. I use the coordinating framelits to cut out the bow and the banner in this gold glimmer paper. Then I also cut out a balloon in the Coastal Cabana cardstock. And I'm gonna go ahead and put these together. I think the easiest way to do this is with some glue dots. Oh, and my glue dots are just about out. So I'll just pick up a glue dot on either end of the banner here and stick it onto, ooh, onto my balloon. And I just love how sparkly this paper is. It's just nice and blingy. Okay, so there is that. I'm going to set that aside for a second. I'm going to take and do some a glue dot with my bow here. I love how easy the framelits make cutting these pieces out as well. And I cut all three pieces at one pass of my Big Shot with that magnetic platform. It makes it so easy. Now to make my card, I'm going to use a Coastal Cabana sheet of cardstock that I folded. I'm going to add a piece of printed paper. This is from the Stacked with Love. And what I love about the Stacked with Love is that it is not just for uh, Valentine's Day. You can use it for anything with the black and white. I had to grab my fast fuse. It was on my other desk. So I'm just going to do fast fuse. And if you're not familiar with this, let me show you how easy it is. Check mark. That's how you release it. Do your line. Check mark. Line. Check mark. Line. Check mark. And fast fuse is super sticky, which is what I kind of really, really dig about it. Put that on my card. Now I also have some vellum. This is the gold vellum. It's kind of embossed with little gold hearts. There's also diagonal stripes as well as uh, polka dots. And to hide the adhesive, I'm just going to stick a glue dot underneath the hearts so that you can't see the glue dot. And I'll just do four, kind of as much in the corners as I really can with this. Um, if you're using vellum without something like this, you can always hide it underneath whatever you're putting with it. So uh, I'll show you what I mean by that. So I have that placed on there. Cute. Then I'll attach my balloon and I'm going to pop this up with some dimensionals. So I'll just grab a sheet of those and put a couple on here. And um, now where I'm placing this balloon also would be a great place to adhere the vellum to the card. Okay, so now my balloon is on there. Now I'm going to add, I have just a little length of this gold sequins. And the trick to this is if you pull about three sequins off the end, then that kind of holds the rest of them on there. It's enough length. So I'll just set those aside. And I always like using these for embellishments later. So I have actually a little container full of them. Um, but there, there it is. And then what I do is just kind of fold it in half. And then I'm going to pick one of these sequins to put a glue dot on the back of. And then I will attach it to my card like that. I'm just going to tuck it under my balloon there. And you can see they're kind of different. Um, different lengths. Okay, now I need to add a greeting to this, and of course any of the greetings would work. In my little set of cards here, I've got a graduation, a birthday, and then on this one I did baby. So let me show you how I did that, because it's super cute and simple. Uh, I have just a strip of cardstock here, 
and I'm going to stamp the happy like so. And you know what? I'm going to pull out my little, I have a little trick here. If I can find it, I can't. I'm going to try it one more time. Um, I got little speckles of the um, ink. There, that was a lot better. My trick was to stick it on a poking, we have a poke pad, except I, I think mine is out in my classroom right now. <laughs> Does that make you feel better to know that I'm not completely on top of this stuff? Maybe it doesn't. <laughs> All right. Then I added baby. I stamped that in my memento black. And memento black is the color I use anytime I need black for something because it doesn't dry insanely fast. It doesn't stain my stamp and it is a nice true black. Okay, now I have a little uh, flag cut out of here and let me show you how I did that. I'm gonna use my six-sided hexagon punch. I'm gonna place that in here, center it top to bottom on my punch and punch that little piece out and then I have a perfect little flag. Then I will attach it to my card with some fast fuse. And then I'm actually going to use my card so I know where to cut it. Let me find my snips here quick. And I'll just snip that edge. And I'm using my card as a guide so it's nice and straight. So there is my super cute blingy card. And again, you can do this in any color combination. I thought the three of these colors were actually really cute together. I embossed the little polka dots on this one. I just stamped them regular on this one. And again, here's the stripes and the polka dots that also come in that vellum pack. I hope you enjoyed this project. Please stop by thecreativitycave.com and go to the post for April 23rd, 19, or 19, my gosh, 2015. And you'll see all the stuff I used as well as pictures of all these cards. Thanks so much for stopping by. Have an awesome day. Bye.